We will be traveling across North America in search of the best teenage soccer players. They'll be picked in order to compete for a single position at the Everton Youth Academy. This is their chance to go pro and earn a six-figure contract. Only one of these skilled athletes will survive the final cut, but most of them will endure the frustration of failure. How many of you would scratch people's eyes out and take everything to be a footballer? You have to live it. You have to breathe it. It's got to envelop you. But that's my life. It has to be your life. Get on the ball! Our talented soccer experts are Steve Niger, Jason Messa, Bassam Name, Hubert Busby, and Ray Hall, manager of the Everton Youth Academy. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? Previously on Soccer Dreams. So unfortunately, we're going to have to release you. Because you boys uh, have been injured. This was a memorable day for the players. Two strong players, Logan and LaTwain, were cut due to injury. We start our day with a good breakfast. Then the coaches are discussing their day and the painful cuts. The coaches are watching footage of the players from the morning game in the dome and the afternoon game on the field in order to determine who will be cut next. The further we are into this competition, the harder it is for the coaches to cut. Everyone seems to be holding his own. So the coaches will have to use other elements for the cuts. Such as age, height, and physical fitness. Beat him but not in the defensive third. Huh? We take a midfield, and then you switch in the back, and then you switch with Fritjo. One, two, three, talk on! One or two of you look as old that you know, you're gonna make progress. Uh, just give it going, don't do things. I heard the coaches shout to you, don't do things you're not good at, you know, because that's the art of it, isn't it? doing what you are good at, express yourselves, but don't do silly things that you're not good at. But the standard is okay. Um, good, good start, it wasn't easy. He respected the recommendation we gave him, but like everything else, what we said is, it was just, it's nothing but opinions. Um, and, and sometimes a world-class coaches sometimes get it wrong. And players need to realize that, you know, what you need to do is leave here. If you are one of the release players, with the idea you need to come back and show us wrong, we wouldn't have nothing you know, but obviously gratitude, you know, the idea is this is only the first step in the process. We will monitor and try to work with players to ensure that they do fulfill their dreams. But again, it's only an opinion and players have to leave with the idea that they have to keep working to fulfill their own personal soccer dreams. Absolute calamity, eh? We had a chat with Coach Steve. We asked him about the players that came to his attention. But you know what, let's be realistic here. Just because your kid pulled one great move doesn't make him the best player in, in the world. And, and 
I, th I think the biggest problem in Canada is that even the losers take a trophy home. We, we promote losing is good. Losing is not an option, especially if they have a dream to, to reach a club like Everton. You ask any professional athlete, the best athletes in the world, and it's that hunger and the passion. They're very hungry. I mean, there's a great example of, uh, I believe, a young man from uh, uh, the Cree Reserve, I believe, from Saskatchewan, Saskatoon, and they sold pop bottles and cans and so forth just to get the money to go to the Calgary's tryout. And, uh, and then out of the six, seven people that went there, he made it here. And unfortunately, he was the first cut. Well, he, well, he was injured, actually. Uh, but he would have come a long way. Good training. Uh-huh. Good experience. We got the top 36 athletes that we could find in the country. I'm proud of them. But it's more than that. There's, we're out to look at, out to discover that gem that Everton's looking for, that every club's looking for. Coaches with knowledge should be able to identify players and their strengths and weaknesses. Play, go, play, go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Well, we, we live in one of the best countries in the world, but the reality is we're not a footballing nation. I then believe if, if for example, we wanted to bring the boy to Everton, we would then have to look at him three, four, five times, and maybe somebody different would look, because you can never have too many experienced pairs of eyes. And then at the end of it, it is an opinion. It is a decision that's made. Hopefully you get it right. Hopefully you get more right than you get wrong. And it's as, as simple as that. Any disappointments, they have to get over that. The choices now are two. Alex Kozowski and Chris Arnett. What I've seen this afternoon, the standards rising, so when the numbers do reduce finally to 16, I think the standard will go even higher because the poorest player will be of a standard to maintain uh, the practice level, the game level, the tempo that we're looking for. That's the expectation that I'm looking for. Mark? Could you bring in Alex Kosovsky? We brought you in here because we now come to the, the decision part of the, the whole of the process. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? Many players had to go home. Who will be cut and forced to take the walk of shame? Uh, my name is Alex Kozowski, I'm number 402, and uh, I think the drills, they're uh, pretty challenging. 
you gotta use a lot of speed, and uh, I think I'm the next soccer superstar because I think I got what it takes. Alex joined soccer dreams in the King City tryouts. 152, 32. 130. And welcome to soccer dreams. From this point on, the competition will begin. We're looking for all the technical qualities that go into professional player. But remember, technical qualities alone won't do it for you. You think you're ready? Yes! Now that's much better. We will be going through a series of exercises. The two coaches will be assessing players and taking it from this point on. Alex is a hard worker under the radar, and he got the job done. Uh, I slept in the Oz Dome, uh, yeah, in the tent. Uh, I wasn't too happy about that. It was pretty cold all night. It was actually kind of like sleeping outside. Yeah. But uh, hopefully today uh, we work hard, win the game, and hopefully we'll be in this mansion today. Oh, I think it's excellent. It's uh, real big. There's a pool, a gym, uh, big, really big TV, nice couches. And again, I hope I sleep in here for the rest of the week. Uh, as an individual, I think I just got to work harder, just got to play more together as a team. Uh, we got to work hard for each other and hopefully we'll get the result. Uh, my mom, my dad, my sister and uh, all my friends at MDHS. Uh, it's my high school, Markham District High School. Uh, no, not right now. Alex is part of the Top Notch team, which lost the first two games. but eventually made it to the house by winning the pole competition. Yeah, finally. Feels good to be in the house. Feels like a real superstar now. Uh, mostly I like watching TV again, to be honest. Nice big TV, couches, extra food. It's real nice. Uh, no, actually I didn't bring my swimming trunks, so I guess I'm up for that. Yeah, that's the team's, that's the team's plan. Uh, we're all planning to work real hard and uh, Hopefully we're here for the rest of the city. Oh yeah, we're gonna keep the house for sure. What you got? Yeah. Come up, come up, yeah, come up, come up, come up. Look at the other side. Hey, shift, wait. Coming up. Is this the day Alex will go home? Stay tuned after the break. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? Many players had to go home. Who will be cut and forced to take the walk of shame? Hey, Chef, where are you? Clear it! Ah, guy! That's mean you can't be doing. You can't. Uh, Cardinal? Gabriel! Uh, Cardinal? Gabriel! How many minutes do you have? Not no, because we're dominating the whole game. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. So it's. Yeah, I think it's pretty even, Victor. I think even if you played the full game, I think we would have won. Uh, it just looked like we wanted it more because in the first five or so minutes, even though the game wasn't that long, we came out real hard, like individually. Oh yeah, like I've just decided to work harder because uh, we wanted to know the guys more and uh, we just want to work hard for each other so we can uh, make fast. Well, you got to take their uh, constructive criticism because uh, then it helps you play the game better because if you keep making the same mistake, then uh, it's not really helping the team. Well, yeah, he just gives you the general uh, game plan, but then pretty much it's up to the players to, like, uh, like, that's what makes you a good player, if you improvise well, like, on the spot, and uh, if you get out of each, uh, in, 
like challenger situation on the field. What do you play? Uh, actually, I play I, I play pretty high level, so it's about the same. Is it the same? Probably better against people who are playing. Right. Because now we know like if this person is strong or fast. Because that's what we talk about a lot uh, to improve on next game. Like each player's strengths are weaknesses. Thirty two. One thirty. Hi Alex. Hey. Okay. Um, well listen, we, we've brought you in here because we now come to the, the decision part of the, the whole of the process. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, you've not made it into the next round. Okay? But yep. please stay there. Uh, it would be remiss of us just to throw that at, at you without giving you some information as to why we've come to that decision. Let me just say straight away, you've done terrifically well to get this far, okay? Um, the whole process has given you the opportunity to perform. And, and in actual fact, that's what, that's what football is all about, an opportunity. Decisions have been reached, not in, in any kind of personal sense, but it's, uh, it's a professional decision based on many years of experience from the coaches and myself but it is an opinion you do what you wish with those opinions okay yeah. let me give you some feedback if you like sure. technically very adequate if that makes sense you know you were reasonably comfortable when i did the little sessions with you you know th th there was no problem adequate but the game's more than about being a technical player uh, I really haven't noticed you in the two days that I've been here. And, and one of the things that's important in football is do you make a difference in a game, in a practice? Do you some, do something that makes the coaches, the scouts think there's a little bit in there? Okay, you need to impose yourself more on, on the whole of the proceedings. Believe it or not, I was, I was a quiet guy. Okay, you need to come out of that quiet zone if you want to push yourself higher to a higher standard. And I'm sure you can. Physically, I'm not sure in what position you would play. You know, if you're a defender, height-wise, could be a problem. If you're a front player, pace-wise, it could be a problem. So there's a whole basket of things that need to be taken into consideration in the decisions that we've made. And that's the feedback and the reason we've come to a decision that we're going to have to let you go. Okay. I'm going with the expert opinion. Obviously, I've been working with the athlete for, for a couple of years, and I know his quality, and I'm, we're here to service the Everton choice. So I'm going to go with the expert's opinion. But I want to thank you for, uh, for taking this uh, this challenge and coming out here and showing what you got. And I'll see you in the future. Thanks. Did you enjoy the opportunity? Yeah, it was really fun. Good. Yeah, really good experience. Excellent. That's the most important thing going forward. Um, you know, Coach Ray's left you with some ideas on how you look to probably you know take the take what you can from this. Um, again, these are opinions from three, four gentlemen. You need to go out there and, and work on those things and, and try to come back and to improve yourself as a player. But I think you're on the right track because first and foremost it starts with a good attitude and you do have a great attitude toward, towards the game. So may that continue. Good luck. First of all, congratulations. Uh, I think you've done well for yourself just coming this far. And the only advice I can say is that, you know, this is not the ending. Just go back and work hard, and you can either take this advice that, that uh, Ray has given you and, and, and improve on that, or just continue playing and, and having fun and so forth. Uh, but uh, just want to say congratulations. Hopefully this was a great experience for you. Do you want to say anything, Alex, before you go? I just want to thank the coaching staff for a good opportunity. Yeah, that's it.
Thank you. It's good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck. Nice young man. Yeah. Maybe that's the problem. He's too yeah. nice. Yeah. It's just, it's just amazing that, that I've never even just yesterday I noticed him, and I say, is that kid been here all along? And and, and he's I remember got, you talking to me about it. Yeah, I, and I spoke to you about that. I go, this one here is flying underneath everyone's radar. And I go, I'll be surprised if he ends up uh, being the top six. He's a great kid, and, and hopefully he has a good career. Whatever he does, I think we all we're all agreed. Whatever he'll do, he'll do okay. Exactly. Whether he does better than okay, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, good kid. Alex will be missed, but many more are to be cut, so everyone will still be on edge. There is only one winner. They say you live once, so I live once to the fullest. Respect the game, respect the name. A day to the free block, I'm giving in pain. I was king in the streets until they put me in chains. I got the heart of the game, so I'm a boss of the game. A different time in the game, yeah, I'm ready to die. Got my fan for the streets, a lot of pain in my mind. Nobody can stop that, I didn't direct. If they're ready to die, they hear the sound of the Mac. Nobody can stop that, I didn't direct. If they're ready to die, they hear the sound of the Mac. Train the day to sequel, money's the root of evil. The dime is guaranteed to live my life to free. Lord, I came from the ghetto, even murder with middle. If you heard it together, you see the reason my mental. I'm going through pain, if you're insane, then we the same. The brother's side of the tongue is dark, it's only rain. I was born a poor boy, mama and four boys, shacking the side of the middle.